ever do. And that's collect a piece of work without knowing about the artist. And that goes even for when I collect shares of art. This propels me into becoming more educated about the art world in general and gaining an understanding of what it is I'm supporting. I personally have a genuine interest in art and an honest need to know about a piece before I collect it. I wanna understand beyond what I read visually and beyond what collecting that piece might do for me financially. I like to look at it as a well-rounded view. There will never only be a monetary focus, although it does play a major part. Today, we're gonna to talk about an opportunity that Otis has given us, and that is one of collecting shares of a piece by Derek Adams. Odoms has been acquiring lots of paintings over the last few months, and I have to say, it's been really exciting to watch. So let's get right to it. What's up, y'all? This is Mariah Elise. This is episode 11 of Frame. And of course, I'm gonna start by thanking you guys for being here and encouraging me to keep going. I wanna encourage you guys to engage with me by leaving comments, liking, and subscribing. I talk back and I really like to know what you guys are thinking. This means absolutely nothing without you guys. So without further ado, click that little red button and subscribe. Otis has honestly been a platform that has changed my perspective. I like that they're allowing us to engage with art that maybe we wouldn't have engaged with by ourselves. Although it does drive the speculative market, it seems to be a win-win all the way around. Otis acquires the piece, either on the primary or secondary market, they sell it to us, and then hopefully they sell it again on our behalf at a higher price. Otis is allowing us to consider collecting shares of Color Bar Constellation 6. This piece is 78 by 74, made of acrylic paint, paper, vintage TV guide colors, TV antennas, aluminum foil, and wood cleat. It was made in 2016 and Otis purchased it in 2019. The collection this piece comes from is titled Color Bar Constellation, and it's a series of multimedia collage work. Depicting television screens that are used to explore the inadequate representation of African Americans in the visual world. In other words, black people are misrepresented in the visual world, and his work is an expression of that, which is a thing that I'm happy he's doing. <laughs> Derek focuses on the optimism of black people, painting us in ways that show us with joy and happiness. An optimist. He creates work that shows black leisure, that shows us able to still connect with all the that's happening to us in the world. Now Otis purchased this piece with, of course, Derek Adams' marketing mind. Derek is one of the most in-demand artists at art fairs, and he has achieved 100% sell-through rate over the last year and realized 281% above what market analysis thought his work would estimate at. Color Constellation number six was purchased by Otis for $49,500 and was offered to us for $54,000. They're gonna offer 1,000 shares to us at $54 per share. Now, before we get into our risk assessment, I do wanna point out that Otis does not give us an appraisal. So we use what we know about his work selling for 281% over the estimate, and we almost use that as an appraisal. Now, art is a bit tricky like that in a way that we have to take consideration many things, like the fact that he's had institutional recognition, like being shown at the Whitney Museum or the Metropolitan Museum of Arts. He already has confirmed shows in 2021 with top galleries and the fact that museums are acquiring more works by African-American artists, which is amazing and quite timely. All of these things have to be considered when we're thinking about how the artist might perform in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look at this spreadsheet and see what the numbers are looking like. So if you want this spreadsheet, let me know in the comments and I will provide a way for you guys to get this spreadsheet for me. Let's get right to it. So let's go ahead and dive right into these numbers so we can see how his work might perform in the future based off what they told us about Derek Adams. So I gave the ticker symbol a name of DDCC. Now what that stands for is Derek Adams, color, constellation, number six. So, so Otis purchased this piece at $49,500. They sold it to us at $54,000 like we said in the past. And they're offering 1,000 shares. I purchased four and I purchased them at $54 a share at an average cost at $54 per share. So my total equity in this piece currently is $216, which leaves me for the portfolio that I currently have at 26.25%. Now, 
If we take what they told us about his pieces appreciating at 228% above its estimate, then we can guess that in the future, this piece is gonna be worth $177,120. Now that could be totally wrong, right? That could be 100% wrong. It might not even reach that amount, but we have to come up with a formula or a way of thinking that allows us to have some type of speculation of what this piece may do in the future, or at least I do. So if it goes up to 177,000, then the unit value is gonna go up to $177.12. Now that's gonna allow us to have an equity of $708.48, profiting $492.48. Now all that means guys is that we put in $216 and we made $498, meaning that we gained 228% like they would suggest most of his pieces have done. Now, in my opinion, this is just not enough. It's not enough to just look at this, trust me, trust Otis. What we wanna do is maybe look at another resource. So I wanna bring you guys over to another resource that I use called Mutual Art. Now here, we're gonna just take a look at what his pieces have done in the past at auction. So we see here, Floater 20 from the series Floaters was expected to go between 25 and 35 grand, but it sold for 65 grand. That's major. The next piece here was expected to sell between four and six grand, but it sold for 9.3, okay? The next piece we're gonna look at was supposed to go between four and six and sold for 7,500. Now that is nowhere near what we're expecting this piece to do. But it has to be considered that we do not know about all of his pieces. Some of his pieces are sold on the primary market, meaning they were sold from a gallery. Some of them were sold on a secondary market, meaning they were sold at auction. Now, Derek Adams doesn't even have enough data to show what his performance has really looked like over time in the auction market. So he's probably, he's actually selling most of his work on the primary market. We might not really have a full view of how his work is selling. We can only look at the numbers that we currently have and then make estimations and predictions of what we think it may do. So that is a full spectrum of Derek Adams and his market on this specific piece. If you have any questions, if I lost you along the way, let me know because my goal is to get better for you guys. I want y'all to have a full understanding of what it is we're talking about here and I want you guys to start investing. So let me know what you're investing in. Let me know if you're using Otis. Let me know if you're using apps like Mutual Art. Let me know if you're using Masterworks. I really wanna know. Guys, if you vibe, you know the word, subscribe. Again, this is Mariah Elise, episode 11 of Frame. We're consistent with it and I am out. Love you guys.